Hey everyone, welcome to another Diamond Fire tutorial. Today we are going to be making some lucky blocks. As usual, we are going to start with a player event. We will use the player join event for when they first join the game. And to start, we're going to go ahead and give the player a lucky block. Now, a lucky block here, uh, we're going to just choose give items. For our lucky block, we are going to get a gold block because that seems very lucky. But just regular block of gold doesn't seem so fun, so we're going to rename it. We will do slash item name, and we will say block of infinite fortune. And now we have, let's make it shiny as well. I think that would be fun. We can do slash item glow and it will make it a glowing item. Isn't that incredible? So now we have a block that seems like a lucky block. I'm going to make a copy of this uh, using the pick block key because we will need it again later. By later, of course, I mean right now, we are going to place a player right click event uh, because that is how they are going to open this lucky block. We're going to say if player uh, is holding the item. So if they are holding the lucky block, then we are going to remove the lucky block from their inventory and then we are going to give them some random item. So we're going to put first a player action and we are going to choose item management and we're going to hit remove items. Now we're going to put another copy of the lucky block in there so that way when they use the lucky block it goes away. Now we're going to give them the lucky blocks and to do this we need to use actually a set variable block to achieve the randomization part of this. So we're going to do set variable and we're going to right click this uh, and we're going to go to variable setting and we see here we have set to random value which means that basically we can put all kinds of random stuff in this set variable chest and it will assign the variable to a randomly selected one of those values. So um, we are going to start first we need to get a variable from our values menu so I'm going to grab that and we are going to name this, uh, let's call it um, Lucky. And we're going to go ahead and put that in the chest here. Um, I have it as a game variable right now. Um, technically, we could make it a uh, local variable by holding shift and right clicking twice. Our Lucky variable in the chest and now we should get some items. So let's think about... Uh, what we want to give the player from the lucky block. Let's say they can get a diamond sword. Uh, maybe they can get, you know, a gold helmet. Um, maybe if they're really lucky, they can get like a, a netherite axe and then maybe we'll enchant it. So we can do slash item enchant. Uh, and let's go with like sharpness one. And now we have sharpness one netherite axe. That looks great. Um, and then uh, how about we also give them, uh, maybe there's like some, some unlucky things where we'll give them something that's not as good, like a wooden shovel. Maybe we can give them, you know, like a, like a stack of diamonds. That, that would be fun too. Finally, let's go with enchanted golden apple. Why not? All right. So now we have our set of lucky items. So it will choose one of these six items at random and assign it to this lucky variable. We're going to get a copy of this because we will be using it in the player action. This is where we're going to actually give them the items. I'm going to right click this. We're going to go to item management. We are going to go to give items and we are going to put our lucky variable inside the chest. Now you'll notice that normally we would just put, you know, any old item or items in the uh, player action chest. But this time we are going to be using the variable and it will replace uh, this variable with whatever the value is. So any item that this variable is set to uh, is going to be given to the player. And that's going to be one of our random six items from the lucky block. So let's test this out. Uh, we are playing the game and as we see, we have our lucky block, our block of infinite fortune. And if we right click, uh, you can see that we have gotten our random item. And this time we got an enchanted golden apple. Let's go ahead actually and uh, just to speed up the process a little bit, um, let's go ahead and give ourselves 10 lucky blocks so that we can use it many times. And you can see we opened one and we got a golden apple. We got another golden apple. Um, now we got a diamond sword. You can see it is in fact random. We just seem to be getting a lot of golden apples uh, because, you know, randomness is like that sometimes. We got the wooden shovel, we got another golden apple, another one, another wooden shovel, another wooden shovel. This is pretty incredible. Um, we seem to be getting a lot of those last two items. Uh, let's just run this again here. Uh, and we can see we are indeed getting a random distribution. It's just, you know, randomness is strange sometimes. So 
there we have it. That is how to create lucky blocks in Diamond Fire. Super, super simple. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to check out the other ones.